time to explore the old fort is the location of a fascinating pest. It's been the venue for literally hundreds of battles, with perhaps a variety of combatants found nowhere else. It's amazing. Homer writes about it in the Odyssey. The Persians were here, and the Romans, the Goths, Byzantines, Normans, Ottomans, French, Russians, British, Italians, and Germans, and mainly the Venetians. Without doubt, there are few places on Earth having such a colorful history. After enjoying the delights of Corfu town, it's time to explore the old fort. The fortress is built upon the headland, which in former times housed the old town of Corfu. It gets its western name from the twin peaks of this fortress. An old map depicts it. It's certainly a formidable structure, separated from the mainland by a moat, the Contrafossa, dug by the Venetians. The entrance is an elaborate archway. The earliest fortifications of the promontory date back to the 6th century, when the Ostrogoths roamed the Med. The Venetian cannon, however, are later additions aimed at stopping the Ottoman Turks. If you see what I mean. And Corfu is famous for the fact that it was not colonized by the Turks like so many other Mediterranean territories. We plan to climb to the top through numerous archways and tunnels, walking through history, so to speak. Getting superb views along the way and nice gardens too. A lighthouse now stands at the summit and I'm anticipating spectacular vistas. At the top, among the cacti, are superb views in every direction. Millionaire's yachts in the bay. This fort was the location of a number of scenes in the James Bond film For Your Eyes Only. A clear view over the town below. Up here it feels we're on top of the world looking down on creation. Our ship in the distance. The town below marked by the absence of the aura of modernity. The cool azure augmented by the occasional white yacht on the Ionian Sea and the sailing boats in the marina. The presence of the past intensified by the ruins of yesteryear. As we gaze at the amazing view, we're reminded of Corfu's past. It was two disciples of the Apostle Paul who brought Christianity here. Napoleon conquered it. Suleiman the Magnificent failed to conquer it. And Prince Philip 
a great-great-grandson of Queen Victoria was born here. Having said all that, it's clearly Greek, known in Greece as the Castle City, but with a hint of Venice. After the exertions of the climb, it's time for a drink and an opportunity for Rachel to write her postcards as we enjoy a beautiful view. Then it's time to return to the ship, past the World War II memorial. We'll actually walk through a beautiful part of the town. The gardens and old buildings, delightful to behold and adding great charm to the place. Our walk back takes us along the coast, people enjoying the beach and reminding us that this island has other facets that we were unable to explore. Another time, maybe. Though I can tell you, Rachel would love to be down there. She looked down in envy. Though her dastardly dad just wanted to shoot everything in sight, killing her opportunity to bathe in the Ionian Sea. Now there's a memory. Interesting buildings along the way. No sooner had we embarked that we were sailing away. So what's the verdict? Have the charms of this ancient Greek island gently massaged your senses? Perhaps tickled your fancy? Or even propelled your zest for life? It's with great pleasure that we sit and wave our farewells, having explored, taken in, observed and enjoyed this unique island. In a few minutes we shall take showers and dress for dinner, then sit in the window of the dining room and watch the world pass by chatting about our experiences of the day, the amazing people, the musicians, the sights, the history, and yes, even the shopping. It's been a wonderful day, and as Socrates said, wisdom begins in wonder. Today has been such that I've not even touched my phone all day, let alone looked at it. Such was the power of the day. Oh, for more days like that. A great part of who we are consists of where we've been and what we've experienced. So Rachel and I were enriched today, and as we sail away, we both have that good-to-be-alive feeling. And certainly thankful for an amazing day.
next time. Coteau, Montenegro, our last stop, an amazing place, historical, cultural, fascinating. A walled city full of alleys, churches, shops, and great cafes and restaurants. They said they'd saved the best till last. And you'll probably agree. Don't miss it. <laughs>